so it doesn't matter which style you use. I have been trying to practice the English style because it's good to use it when my hands are getting tired. I just switch styles and then it uses the different hands. So here, now I've done all my my eight, um, leaving the eight needles, knit off all the way across and I'm going to turn around and now here I am going to be in, this is actually row number 10, and here is where you're going to bind off. Now here, I want to bind off 4 stitches, 1, 2, 3, 4, and you're going to end up with 14 stitches on your needles. There's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14 stitches. To bind off, um, I think I have a binding off on tutorial, but this is how you would bind off. You're going to knit the first 2 stitches whichever style you use, one, and then I kind of adjust that, and two, okay? Once you've got a knit those two, now you're going to wrap this yarn, this loop that we have here, the first loop is going to go over the, oops, here, let me grab that again. It's going to go over that one, and you just slip it off. So that's your first stitch, one, and you can see that little chain one. You do that again, knit it the next stitch. It's harder to do it slow motion, and then grab that stitch, bring that back needle, grab that back stitch, pull it out. So that's two, three, And four. Just like that. So now you have those stitches that have been bound off. They're not going to unravel. You should have 14 stitches on your needle. Here's two, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. And now you're going to buy, you're going to knit all the way across. So here, you're going to have 13 on this needle, one on this one, and you had four that you bound off there. That's creating that little kind of point. Now knit all the way across, and that is the pattern repeat one through 10. Now to begin your next section, you're going to do that until you have 14 of these little points, right? So here, all the way across. And so remember, it doesn't matter if you do English or continental style. I took a lot of flack from that, but you know what? This is how I learned. And see, when you're short rowing, is if you were doing regular rows, you'd have a regular rectangle here. We have less stitches here, more here, and it created that shape. So here, that's rows one, two, four. If you wanna see, you're gonna have one, two, three, four of these little lace patterns there from the yarn overs. Here, now you have all your stitches done. Now you would just repeat this, rows one through 10, until you have 14 points, just like this. And that's why I said it'll give you a good way to practice your, um, your knit stitch, your yarn overs, and your bind offs because you're going to be binding off. So this is doesn't look like much right now, see? But this is actually there, one little point. And this is why I loved this variated yarn um, because it seemed like it worked out perfectly. I couldn't have planned it any better because as you can see, almost every like point, every two points is a new color, see? One, two, one, two. So here you're going to repeat rows one to ten until you have 14 of these points. So that's, that's my first point. So that would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. I'm going to go ahead and we're going to come back and then I'll show you how we bind off and how we close it off. And it's just super fast and easy and it looks so pretty instead of a regular rectangle washcloth. 
Okay, everyone. Now, thanks to the magic of YouTube. No, I'm just joking. I had this one already completed. And one of the things I loved about using the short, um, the double pointed needles is that I could have four of my washcloths going at the same time because I have five needles. And so I could have four and then my fifth one I could use to work my washcloth. So here I have this one going. I have a blue one going and then I have a white one going. And it's all working out great because I have four of these little needles. Instead of having to have like all these different sets. So here once you get to the end I have my 14 points. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 points. I'm going to go ahead and bind all of my stitches off once I did all my... That's um, my last row, row 10. I didn't have to do anything else. So here, I'm going to bind off this last row. And then when I bind that off, I'm going to go ahead and leave a long tail so that I could do a mattress stitch. You can do a whip stitch, whatever stitch you decide to do um, for your um, securing these ends. It's totally up to you. So here, I'm going to go ahead and... Okay, so then I finish binding this off. I need to leave a tail long enough for me to sew these here. And this is going to be this way because remember our stitches here from there to there where our point is going to be. Now I need to leave a tail long enough so I'm going to go one, two, and then three. The three lengths of that um, just to be on the safe side. So once I get this here, I'm just going to go ahead, grab that tail, grab that end, and pull it through my needle. If I could, I feel like I have left two left hands right now because I'm trying to work around a tripod, and that's kind of awkward. So I'm going to have to go ahead and pull that out. And get Okay, so here I finished stitching up my side here and you can either cinch it up with this um, tail or here. Um, you're going to have to close up the circle and here what you could get is that you get these little, the bumps of your stitches. Just the little bump here from the garter stitch and go around. And grab the next bump here. Can move that tail there. Keep going in those little bumps. It's another bump. And what I mean by the bump is like this little loop there, okay? My last one. And I believe that's the last one, okay? So once you do that, I'm going to pull this, cinch it up to close it. See that? And now this is the tail from where I started there. It up tight and then make a knot and now you could just weave your tail in and out 
or you can go whichever way you want to secure it, okay? I actually like to go through the fat, through the strand of yarn. And you're going to do that for both tails. Go down one way. And they go up a couple strands up. And now I'm going to do the same thing to the other tail. Go just go ahead and bring it in and out through here. And I'm going to try to mix it into the same color because I don't want it to look too different. I'm going to trim that out. And it is done. Let me move back so you can see what it looks like. I really like the way this came out. And so here I have my other green one. And so here, this, this is the one that had the air. So you can't really tell. It's a washcloth. This one um, came out really pretty. Once you get that little, um, the count, you know, like a two, four, six, eight, and you just keep going around. I may have pulled this one a little too taut, but you get the idea. There's the washcloth, and then you go, they also have the pattern for the mini one, which it would be perfect for like taking off your makeup or scrubbing your face. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a bunch of these, and then I can have them ready with maybe a little package of some soap or something else, and it'd be a perfect hostess gift, housewarming party present, and um, you get to enjoy. I'm going to finish this one off and then I'm going to have this one and then my blue one. So these will all be colors that were found in this towel and they will all like coordinate. See how there will be different coordinating colors and then I have a green color and I will finish all of my dishcloths, my washcloths. I, I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. Please be sure to subscribe. Hit that like button if you um, found of any value. Please share this with your friends and family. And I will put the uh, link for simplynotable.com. They're the ones that um, posted this pattern. And um, then you could go there, download the written pattern, or check it out. They have lots of neat projects there. So I hope you have a great day. And remember always that God loves you.